Um, hello, everybody. Uh, look, I asked Nell if I could say a few words. I, I will keep it to a few words. Uh, but I think people in the city are really aware of how dependent they are on the sub-artesian and the artesian basin. As anyone west of the Great Divide would know, in terms of if you want your grass-fed cattle, then they're going to be drinking boar water. Nine times out of ten, those cattle will be drinking boar water as will the sheep uh, and the mutton that you get to eat uh, sort of probably 40, 50 percent of the time. And I think it's, it's very, very important to get across to the city that this is not just a country problem. Uh, I'm really appalled at the lack of science that is uh, happening behind CSG. In, in terms of the, the uranium spill uh, up in the northwest of New South Wales, they were totally unaware of where that water went to. Well, surely before you start drilling uh, for CSG, you would find out what happens with the water table. Where does the water table go? How far does that water travel? And uh, they didn't know. They didn't know. And what gets me about this is that, it, that you, you've only got to do a little bit of reading to find out the number of CSG bores that, uh, that uh, misfunction. Uh, I think about uh, one out of five, one out of four in the short term, getting towards 30, 40 percent in the long term. Now, what the hell are we doing by putting in these bores? And it's all about greed. That gas is not going anywhere. Leave it there. Leave it there for another generation when the science might be better. Then you can get that bloody gas out without screwing up the country. And don't get me started on the Galilee Basin. I was doing a bit of research on a speech I had to give, and I was on the Gina Reinhardt uh, company site, and, and I saw 8.9 8 billion tonnes on her part of that, and I said, well, that can't be right. 8.9 billion tonnes of coal. I went back. 8.9 billion tonnes of coal there, uh, and that's only about a quarter of the company's that are after that basin. Well, that's where I used to do all my work in Queensland. And I would like to ask, where are they going to get the water to wash that coal? Because that country there is totally dependent, the pastoral industry is totally dependent on bore water. And the, uh, and the word coming down from southeast and southwest Queensland is that the bores are going back that people are having to put their bores down further, put on bigger pumps to get that water out, and they must really be packing death, is what are we going to be pumping out of there when we start pumping water? So as I say again, it's about greed. Leave it there. It's not going anywhere. We seem consumed by the fact that we're going to dig up all the mineral wealth of this country and sell it in, the, in a couple of generations and leave our great-great-grandchildren with a worked-out quarry. Thanks very much.